it's a pleasure to introduce you to John Bennett. John, very warm welcome to you today. So let's get on to the trust. You've recently agreed to reduce the minimum, the floor, from 50 down to 45. Do, so what does this mean for the portfolio? Does it make it more volatile? Yeah, what does it make it more volatile? Volatile against what? You know, I think, I think um, I've always throughout my career been amazed by just how, how people associate the word volatility with risk. You know, we should remind people risk is the permanent loss of your capital. It's not volatility around a benchmark index. And in fact, the very reason for reducing the, the number of, of, of stocks uh, minimum is to make sure we don't look like an index. You know, investors have such a choice these days, not just in regions or among regions, but from basically passive versus active. Let's be true active. And uh, let's not also be surprised if that floor comes down further. Uh, in the year ahead from 45. So it's a staging post and I expect, like all of my portfolios, the number of uh, stocks to be falling. Mm. Okay, well we've immediately got a question from the, from the audience here. In the light of Woodford's experience, so this is the recent issues that he's had with illiquid stocks in his portfolio in closing investors out. Um, do you view the concern that underperformance from an open-ended fund can have significant effects on a mirrored investment trust? Does it mean managers are forced in line to maintain their performance closer to the average, to take less risk, maybe? No, I don't think I don't think I can certainly see the analogue, if you like, the read across, where there can be contagion or reputational contagion, maybe some portfolio contagion. Let's not forget an investment trust is a closed-end vehicle. It should not be subject to the same pressures of daily or even weekly or monthly inflow and outflow, because that doesn't exist. And in fact, when I first took over Henderson European Focus Trust, I said to the board, I want to decouple this trust as a closed-end vehicle away from what was then a, a sister fund, which was a very large OIG, Henderson European Select Opportunities. The first decision I took was decouple it from that, because that very large OIC was dictating to, 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 to the trust. The trust should be standalone, it is closed-end, and the great thing about closed-end funds, they can do things that are different from an open-ended fund, and they should do things that are different from the open-ended fund, as mine does. And the first thing it does have is a weapon called a longer-term time horizon. Okay, so you really separate out your closed and open-ended strategies there. Um, so, I mean, is this good for active managers? Because a lot of people are saying, actually, this sort of is proving the point for ETFs. If, if you're meant to have an authorised corporate director who's got an overview of a, of, a, of a fund, you know, why not just go for a much cheaper passive? No, oh, like and, and the recent news about you know you mentioned the fund manager um, is not good news for the active industry. You know, from a news and narrative uh, point of view, and it will be hard for people to isolate it. Active is under enormous pressure. I've been an active manager for thirty odd years. I'm under no illusion the pressure it's under from passive, from technology. We're also in the crosshairs of disruption. We need to react to that. One of the things I would ask investors to to ask themselves: Are you prepared to give the active fund manager? The kind of time horizons that are given to private equity, I think that is a challenge I would actually throw back to investors. And we can take a long-term view in closed-end vehicles like Henderson European Focus Trust. It is harder to do that in an open-ended daily dealing, but I think it, investors in open-ended need to ask themselves, why am I giving seven and 10-year horizons, lockups, to private equity vehicles that don't price every day? And I might give three months, three weeks, might give three years to open-ended. I think that's a real tension. Mm -hmm.